everybody, welcome back to another video. It's Hanek, I'm Noodles here. Uh, welcome back to episode 2 of Crazy Craft. Uh, right now we're inside the nether reactor, which I activated and I was trying to record, but unfortunately the recording crashed while I was doing it. But basically what it does is spawns a bunch of pigmen and spawns a bunch of items. Take a look at all the, the loot we got from it. And we got this end sword by uh, trading it with one of the watering traders. Which uh, helped us a lot because it gives us regeneration and strength and all kinds of stuff. So this is basically the only reason why we even survived in here. But the nether reactor is inside there. We can reuse it if we want. Hopefully I can, I can do that again and show you guys later. But right now what I want to do is actually get to the aether. Because the aether um, has these trees. Which instead of dropping normal apples will drop enchanted golden apples. Which is obviously going to help us with our survival. So let's get started on that. So I went to the, the nether earlier, as you can see here from my nether portal back there, and got some glowstone as well. And we already kind of made our, our aether portal right here. But I just kind of wanted to, uh, to, to do the nether reactor just because just it's pretty fun. Alright, so what I've got in my hand right here is the actual the aether portal itself. Uh, it's not like I have to I have to build it. I have to craft it place it down and then right click on it but We're gonna go a little bit across the way. We're gonna go head across this ocean. There's a forest biome over here I just want to do that just to just in case um, It creates any lag or something. I don't want there to be lag like right at my house it doesn't make any sense So let's go ahead and get to this forest biome over here All right, so we're uh, we're a good distance away. This biome has a bunch of those trees that uh, that have diamonds at the top, so I'll probably end up coming back here and, and mining a bunch of those. But we're we're right here on the peninsula of this beach. I feel like this is a great place to place it. Let's go ahead and plop it down. Right click on it, and it kind of takes a little bit, and it kind of makes the game laggy while it's loading in. But when it's done, it'll actually tell you right on screen. And then you just walk into the portal and head on to the Aether. Aether listo. Or ready. <laughs> Alright, sweet. Okay, so I actually went ahead and went back and reorganized my inventory. Got a map so we could start filling it out and stuff. Uh, but I actually see... One, there's a zombie here. Two, there's a... Oof, there's a beetle. Oh my, what is that? I probably don't want to mess with that. <laughs> Get this beetle over here. Come on, die. Okay, but this guy, this is what we're here for. This little apple guy actually also gives us golden apples. Nice. <laughs> and he just pops them out for free. Just keeps popping them out as long as you keep clicking. These aren't enchanted golden apples though, so it's not as good as the, the aether apples, but it's a good thing we found this guy. We're pretty much, uh... We're pretty much a lot better off with all this stuff, right? I wish there was a way I could, like, leash this guy so I could take him home. That'd probably be the best thing. There's another turtle over there. Kinda feel like taking it on now that I have this sword. <laughs> But anyway, let's uh, do what we came here for and go to the Aether. And three, two, one, bam, here we are. As you can see here, it has this, uh, I can't remember what it's called. It kind of works like ice though, kind of slippery, makes you walk fast. Um, let's see here, what do we got? Got this Aether dirt. Here's these trees I was talking about. All right. Well, so far we're just getting regular apples. Oh look, and big old aether sky whale thingy. <laughs> cool. Who's this little guy here? 
It doesn't seem to be hostile or anything. Should I kill it? I think so. Oh! I think one of my armor pieces just broke. Oof. Alright, I think it's about time we uh, head back. And here we are. Hello. Okay guys, so I just had an idea. Maybe I could get this appling into this boat. It's probably the best thing. Might have to take on this turtle though. I hope not, but let's see if we can do this. Let's go. Come on, get in there. Oh, this is definitely gonna work. Oh, oh yeah, we definitely got him. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Okay guys, we're back. We got the appling back to the base. Super happy about that. Let's see if we can click on him while he's in the boat. Oh, nice. Yep. We got golden apples for days. Never used golden apples as a primary food source before. Welcome to Crazy Craft. <laughs> Alright, but now that we've got these strong weapons, now that we've got some golden apples for food, I think it's like a, a good time to take on some of the, the mobs we saw earlier. Uh, I actually already cleared out some of the uh, some of the houses that you saw in this big building here. Or not, not that one. That's the uh, the Nether Reactor. These buildings here. So maybe let's uh, try and see what this boat. Actually, is. mined out some of the iron blocks already. All right. Let's hope I do not die. All right. By the way, I tried to kill that dinosaur in the water earlier but that didn't go too well <laughs> thankfully i actually got him in the water or i would have died let's uh get on up here all right let's eat us a golden apple and let's do this okay we see some beds looks like i can't get through from here i'll have to bust in all right, here we go. Okay, so far so good. I see some movement. Okay, okay. Let's see if there's any like spawners or something. And there we go, okay. I would like you to die, sir. Oh, this dude is strong. My sword is, is pretty strong and he took a lot of hits. Ah, but there goes their spawner, nice. Eat another golden apple. Oh, we're good, I guess. Huh. I mean, they're not hitting me. Are they friendly? I'm not even gonna take the risk, nah. I mean, they're seriously not hitting me. I don't... I hit them a bunch. Whatever, dude. I'm taking your boat. <laughs> Bruh. Okay, so apparently I found the bad guys, and uh, they blew up all my stuff and killed me, unfortunately. <laughs> well, some of my stuff is down there, but... Uh, I think me going down there is a really bad idea. I think I I think we gotta abandon ship, guys. <laughs> okay, well, uh, we lost all our stuff, but I'm not too miffed about it because at least we got the appling. So let's just get a few golden apples back. Make me feel better. <laughs> yes, this is the one accomplishment I actually made today. <laughs> Okay, so another thing that I wanted to get started on today was some resource generators. As you can see, I've already got this here uh, sugarcane generator. And it's been getting us a little bit of sugarcane. But actually, I found out to get started with the ore generation, you actually need silk touch because you need coal ore in order to get started. So... We got ourselves this enchantment table, but unfortunately... I just died. <laughs> so 
I would say the next thing we should do is try to get a good sword again. We have this sword here, again, that I got from the, um, from the Wandering Trader. And let's see, it gives us regen, strength, and fire resistance. Alright, that's actually perfect, because where we want to go to get a better sword is actually the nether. So let's, uh, let's get ourselves a little bit armored up, and let's head to the nether. Okay, we got some armor, we got a shield, let's go. So here we are in the scary place. Let's, uh, we're looking for... It looks like that guy that's in my base, except he's black and red. That's what we're looking for. I see a phoenix. There's a lot of those around. I'm not entirely sure what to do with those guys yet, but, uh... I'm sure we'll find out. That's the guy we're looking for, right there. Okay. He has a ton of health, so this is gonna be a long fight. So I'll bring you guys back when I'm probably done. Oh, nope. Come on. Oh jeez, oh jeez, there's another dog. Okay. Oh, no, 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 I don't want you to fall in the lava, please. I need your drops. Come on, guy. Stop being stubborn. No, is that a ghast? I can't have ghasts. No ghasts. Is that a baby phoenix over there? Oh yeah, he's on fire. Yeah, that's awesome. That's good for us. Can I throw this sword? No, I cannot. Some of these uh, swords from elemental swords you can throw. But apparently not this one. Yeah, this kind of seems a little better, right? <laughs> Just get a little regen going. Oh jeez, my shield broke. This is not good, I might die. Oh, we got him, and we got the sword. Oh my god, we almost died. But we got him, and we got the sword. <laughs> so this is the Saw Knight Sword. It does a whole lot of damage, really tanky. Unfortunately, it does give you slowness. But that's perfectly fine with me. Let's get a little bit of regen going. Get all my health back. Oh, that was kind of a scary fight, but we got it in the end. Alrighty, let's get out of this scary, scary place. And there's something called the the dog stick that I, th I think you use to tame these fire dogs. So hopefully we can get working on that at some point. Alright, so the last thing I want to do actually is get started on this item exchange here. You start getting some coins going. Because that's definitely going to help us out in getting all the various resources that we need so that we don't have to explore too much and get all that stuff. So let's see, what do we need for the other table? Alright, let's see, for the other table we need some gold blocks. Oof. Well, I gotta go mining for that. So I guess that's the end of today's episode. I'll uh, go mining for that, get started on the item exchange. And the next episode we'll get started on uh, crazy tools and uh, some some guns that are from Vatanage. So hopefully you guys liked today's video. If you did, leave a like and a subscription, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.